Hi, welcome back to my channel. So this is gonna be some very extremely general messages for whoever comes across this video. You can apply it to all signs, but it's just for whoever needs to hear the messages. So, um, oh, also, so I forgot to mention in the previous read that I posted today, but I did make some changes to my description box. So if you do plan on reaching out to me, just make sure you read the description box first before reaching out. Um, but yeah, let's get into the read. So I'm gonna pull some energy oracle cards. I'm gonna pull three and see what shows up. So what messages can I give to the collective here for whoever is watching? Okay, so we got Journey coming out. We got Happy Family showing up here too. Um, I am hearing specifically like the road to stability. It's like maybe things have been like kind of off balance here too with this Journey card. But you know, like the journey, um, it's like everybody's journey is not the same. But I do feel like maybe there could have been some like ups and downs here with this Journey card. But also too, for some people, it's like you could be needing to just know that you are on the right path. That's what it looks like. It's like as long as you are following your intuition, paying Paying attention to the signs too. Um, that's what I'm hearing as well. It's like paying attention to the signs. There could be certain things that you're seeing. Not really sure if it's like words or something about like a street could be very significant as a will. Something about like the name of someone's street or possibly like an address could let you know that you are on the right path. I do see this energy of like relocation for somebody as well with this journey card. That's what it looks like. It's almost like there could be some type of unexpected relocation, but it's like know that you're on the right path. That's what it looks like. So let's see. And I feel like, yeah, it's like something specific about the name of a street or like an address could be very significant. Something about the number two is significant as well. Tell me more for the collective. What other messages are they needing to hear right now for whoever is watching? Okay, so we got community showing up here. We got Angel of Strength coming out too. I do see this energy of support. Um, with this community card, it don't have to be friends because it's like, I use that term like very loosely, but it does look like there's some type of support system. Also, too, it's like some type of celebration here as well with this community card that's coming out. But I do see for some people, it's like you could be, um, I feel like you're being divinely guided towards like your soul tribe. Now, it don't mean that you got to see these people like every day um, when it comes towards like a soul tribe. But it's like people that you're meant to encounter. But it does look like it's very loving and very supportive here with this community card. That's what it looks like. Also, too, I do see where someone's leaving a... Now, this could be like a third party type of situation with this community card. Because the way it's falling out, it looks like this person in a journey card is leaving this um, this community. For some people, yeah, it's like some type of relocation. So, you could be leaving um, your like current community or environment. Let's see. Tell me more. Give me another one here for the collective. So we got patience showing up here. We got the world coming out too. So there's definitely some type of travel involved or movement. But also with this patience card, yeah, it's like um, there could be a need to be still or be very patient in regards to pretty much some type of new start or like a new journey that you could be partaking on. That's what it looks like. But I'm going to get some more cards. I was going to pull just three, but we're just going to see. Tell me more for the collective. What else are they needing to know for whoever clicks on the video? So we got Angel of Love. We got the Garden and the Gate. There's a need to follow your heart here in regards to um, some type of new journey. There could be a need to like step out on faith too. But with this Angel of Love, now this could be like a love situation for someone with this Angel of Love. But pretty much um, it's about doing what you love too with this Garden and the Gate. It looks like the person's kind of hesitant about going past the gate. But there's a need to step outside your comfort zone too. So let's see. Tell me more. For the collective, what's this about? So we got the fifth chakra showing up here. This is Archangel Gabrielle. So this is like a throat chakra. Could be some type of communication coming in as well. 
yeah for some people there could be some type of communication but it is like words of love it's like very um loving words that's coming in towards you you could be the person too that's speaking these words of love but that's what it looks like it's, it feels like very supportive you know how like um and i guess some people be feeling this way when they be watching my reads or whatever but i don't really know it's like i kind of know what it feels like or whatever but you know how like when somebody says something like just right it's like exactly what you need to hear at the the perfect time that's what it feels like so it's like words of support or encouragement tell me more also too there could be a need to keep people close to you to where and maybe these people are at a distance or it's like you're being divinely guided towards um, these people or maybe they're being be, ugh, maybe they're being divinely guided towards you to where um, it's only like it kind of gives this energy of like only being around people who are speaking words of positivity love encouragement it's like they're uplifting each other that's what it looks like so let's see tell me more so we got healer of the ages and yeah doors to personal healing and happiness now this envy card wanted to show up as a will um near this healer of the ages but it's like the words that you speak it's kind of given like pretty much um staying away from people who are speaking words of like envy jealousy just like being very low vibration <laughs> They be in real low vibration, so it's like there's a need to kind of like venture off. It's like maybe, I don't know, there could be some type of trip or journey um, that you could be about to partake on. But I feel like this should be your main concern, this door to personal healing and happiness. That's what it looks like here. Also, too, this energy of peace is coming out as well. It's like only being around people. And, you know, of course, this is hard to do, but it's like um only being around people who give you some type of peace it's like if it's not about peace um love and light even though it ain't all love and light unfortunately out here but um there could be a need to like you know go towards that or or um more so like entertain that energy tell me more about this community card for the collective what's this about Tell me about community here for the collective. Oh, wow. So we got deceit showing up here all tied up. Yeah, there's some type of deception in some circle. Or it's like a um, a group of people. I do feel like too, yeah. Because cause the way the cards fell out, I'll be paying attention to like how the pictures be showing. It looks like this person um, in this journey card is leaving some type of community. It could be a third party, but the third party don't have to be like a romantic situation. It just shows where someone's leaving like a community or like a group of um, people that they were socializing with. I feel like in a way these people could be low vibration. It's like maybe they're not supporting you. They could be using you too. Because this, um, this, <clears throat> this um, deceit card came out clarifying this community. So yeah, there's some type of deception here going on with possibly like a group of people that someone had like in their energy it's almost like they're just there possibly for like money or they could definitely have bad intentions pretty much that's what it seems like but i do feel like there's some type of illusion too because it's like they look very um this group of women they look very um pleasant right they look like goddesses but their intentions are not good it's like they're probably only there for like one type of reason. That's what it seems like. It kind of gave me this energy too. And I hate to even mention this, but it's all facts. You know how like those women empowerment type of events, y'all? Some of them be like really, really fake. Like they don't really be all about empowering women, honestly. It's almost like that's just like for show. And it don't have to be a group of women. It just shows where it's like three different people possibly or some type of community. But um, let's see. There could be envy too surrounding this community 
because you're high vibrational. That's what it seemed like. But let's see. Tell me about this community. Why did deceit clarify community? So we got the lovers showing up here. So yeah, there could have been some type of um this could be some type of relationship or partnership with the lover's car. I am seeing it too, where for some people you could have like a romantic interest in your community, but someone's being kind of deceptive here. And I don't feel like it could be like in a bad way in a sense. It's like, they just are hiding how they really feel. It's almost like, uh, with this deceit card, the guy, it's like they have like a poker face on with this deceit card. That's what it looks like. But I do see some type of relationship or partnership here. Uh, with the lover's card coming out. Let's see. What's this um, deceit about for the collective? What's this about? What's this deceit about for the collective? There's somebody who's wants to get close to you. Someone could be wants to reconcile too. Now, just take it how it resonates. Because you know how like with these reads, it be shown where somebody wants to reconcile with somebody. But that don't mean you got to reconcile with the person. That's just their energy. But it's like they in your energy low key. Um, but yeah, it could be like a King of Cups energy that has showed up in a previous read too that I had did. So it could be like a masculine, um, water sign, like Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But let's see, tell me more about this deceit energy for the collective. Why did this show up for them? We got the Four of Cups coming out here, Seven of Wands. There's some type of unexpected offer that's coming in. Um, for a lot of you guys, you are definitely protecting your energy. It's like you are definitely on this, um, it's kind of giving like the cliche, like spiritual community vibes. It's like all love and light really is not, but it's like that's your reality um with this four of cups that came out and we got doors to personal healing and happiness but look you and the seven of wands energy it's like you're not just letting anybody into your energy with the seven of wands other people could know that too because the way it's showing up here look like somebody a ninja it's like you're not letting anybody just anybody in your energy and i feel like someone's playing like these um <laughs> This is too funny. Like the visual I'm getting, it's almost like I'm um, a hippie with this four of cups. It's like you only play high vibrational music and all that other stuff. What's this about here? Um, what's this deceit energy about for the collective? What's this about? So we got the Ten of Wands that came out. There's some type of past burden here. Now, they don't, it don't have to be your energy, but it's like someone's holding on to these burdens here. It's like baggage from what I'm seeing here. Because that Six of Cups keeps showing up at the bottom of the deck. So it's technically yesterday is the past. So yeah, we can't get it back. Why is this deceit energy showing up here? Somebody's using a fake page. Um, just throwing it out there. Yeah, somebody's using a fake page. What's this, this deceit energy about for the collective? Yeah, we got the Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles showing up here too. This could be something surrounding work or career. Some of y'all could have somebody watching you at work or career. Or like, you know, could be like at the workplace with the Three of Pentacles. Um, I had mentioned in my previous read too, it's like, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Also too, it's like this energy of being on your P's and Q's too with this Three of Pentacles. But um, this could be a situation at work for somebody but there's some type of promotion or money coming in because this ace of pentacles came out too that's what it looked like it's like um some type of increase in income or like a new beginning could be an opportunity it's something tangible with the pentacles but it looks like it's coming in towards somebody here um who's working you could work around other like uh, in a some type of community Let's see. What's this about here for the collective? What's this about? So we got the two of swords, queen of wands coming out here too. A feminine fire sign could be very significant. Like um, 
Aries Leo Sag, but it's giving me this energy of like you are attracting um, opportunities. This is like money making opportunities. Also, too, for some people, you could be um, you could be attracting like collaborations too. It's like people could be wanting to collab with you. Now, just take it how it resonates because sometimes when you do have some type of platform, especially here on YouTube, y'all, because it'd be kind of crazy. It's like you may get some type of email. Um, and you don't have to have a large following too. But some of these companies, they be wanting to like just give you something free. They, ain't, they don't be talking about no money. But make sure you have some type of media kit, especially if you do have like somewhat of a following or um, you can actually like sell something to somebody. But make sure you get some money for it because it's like you are the content creator. That's what I be thinking about. I'm like, okay, so basically you want me to do something for free. And I got to sit here and make the video, upload it. I got to use my Wi-Fi and their Wi-Fi be costing, okay? It's like, I got to pay a bill every month, okay? And they want you to do something for free or just send you something free. That's crazy. So, yeah, don't be doing nothing out here for free, especially if you got some type of platform because these people be having the money to do it. But, yeah. They got it. <laughs> but, um... Let's see. Uh, tell me more. What's this fifth chakra energy here for the collective? What's this fifth chakra energy about for the collective? Okay, so we got a death card showing up here. We got the sun card coming out too. There's some type of success or um, this could be like choose clarity. Something coming into it. It's something surrounding work or career. That's what it looks like. So know that you're on the right path surrounding work or career. If it resonates, it resonates. But with the death card coming out here, it looks like there's some type of communication that's coming in that's going to bring some type of change. The color blue, but specifically like lapis lazuli could be very significant too. And that's a really good stone to use when you, um, if you really want to tap into your intuition, but also to, um, it helps you to speak your truth. But it's like a dark blue stone, but that's what I've seen on this card. Even though it, it don't mention nothing about a stone. But that's what I had got when I had um, looked at this death card. But there's some type of um, truth coming in. Let's see. Tell me about door to personal healing and happiness here. For the collective. So we got judgment showing up here. Ace of Wands. So yeah, this is some type of fresh new start. Some good news coming in with the Ace of Wands showing up here. We got judgment coming out too. I see some type of expansion with someone's business, y'all. And it has something to do with this Ace of Pentacles. It's like this could be an increase in your finances or some type of opportunity to where you're able to, to expand. And it's something that you're currently working on. That's the way it looks like. Also too, this could be like someone's social media platform as well. But it kind of gives me the startup energy. Yeah, for some people, you could be getting some type of money that comes into where you're able to do some type of startup. But it could actually be like a, a actual building. It don't have to be like a full blown building, but I feel like it's some type of workspace with this three of pentacles. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, but with judgment coming out here, it clarified door to personal healing and happiness. And it does look like um, for some of you guys, you're going to be in this position to where um you're gonna have to use your intuition in regards to it looks like you could be going into a new direction or doing things different surrounding work or career it could be time to switch something up to surrounding like work or career that's what it looks like but this is something that someone has already been working on like you don't already put in the work and it's like you know maybe um there was a need to be patient in regards to pretty much you receiving some type of uh, reward or could be like a promotion for somebody too. It's about the work that you've been putting in. I'm going to clarify this. Ace of Pentacles here. Actually, I'm going to be nosy real quick. Hold on. <laughs> I'm just going to be nosy just a little bit. What's this um, deceit energy here for the collective? Why did deceit show up for them? Okay. So we got hope coming out here. We got a death card showing up here too. What's this deceit energy about for the collective? What's this about? Yep. 
Yeah, if you're dealing with some type of deception surrounding work or career, spirit saying there's still a hope. It's like that situation, like if you are dealing with that, so where I feel like there's some type of, like you could be getting underpaid or just a lot of um, sneaky behavior going on at work. But there's some type of gift that's coming in here or pretty much it's like a blessing, I guess you could say. It's like a blessing in the sky showing up here in regards to like work or career. What's this Ace of Pentacles about for the collective? What's this about? Someone could be getting interrogated too surrounding work or career. Because I just realized this Eight of Swords that came out. Not really sure if someone got accused of doing something at work with this Eight of Swords. That's what it looks like. But it's like false accusations in the workplace. So I'm not really sure what that's about. This could even be like on social media too with this Ace of Swords. Because I feel like someone has some type of... Like, you could have some type of platform, but it's, like, something that you're doing for work or career. But this could be simply, like, the workplace. There could be something that you're not quite seeing, too, with this Eight of Swords. But now is not the time to be doubting yourself, too. So, it's, like, the, the need to just be patient. It's, like, waiting for your time to come. That's what it seems like. What's this Ace of Pentacles here for the collective? What's this Ace of Pentacles here? So we got thief that's showing up here. We got thought coming out too. There could be a need to move in silence about um, some type of new start or new beginning. Because it looks like this thief has like the bag, like some money. But it looks like they're sneaking out of like a situation. That's what it looks like. What's this Ace of Pentacles about for the collective? Actually, why did thief clarify this Ace of Pentacles? Why did Thief clarify this Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, we got jealousy. There's a need to move in silence here about um, some type of new... Wow, and we got enemy showing up here too. So enemy and jealousy came out. Some of y'all could be connecting with someone surrounding work or career. There's some type of collaboration that's happening, whether it be some type of new work project or something. Spirits ain't moving silence about it. That's what it looks like because it's like heavy um, energy surrounding like social media possibly for some people. And it got something to do with your skills and your talents. Um, Yeah, this is about something that you're working on. We got the Magician card showing up here, too. Also, too, whatever you're manifesting. And also, too, it's like whatever you could be working on. Uh, for some people, it's like you could make things. But it's like you're using your power. You're manifesting here. So it's like when this comes in or like whatever you're, um, whatever y'all cooking up. Yeah, it's like there's a need to move in silence about it. What card came out? Oh, the Empress. So, yeah, it's like a lot of creative projects showing up here as well. Someone could make like perfumes or something. Cause I feel like it's something that um, possibly someone's gonna sell. But that don't have to be for everybody. I just feel like um, there's some type of mixing being done in regards to something, some type of work project. Uh oh. So we got this Knight of Swords that came out. We got the High Priestess showing up here too. Yeah, there's a need to keep some things a secret. This could even be like some type of recipe or formula that someone has too. With the High Priestess, I feel like something's hidden. That was showing up in a previous read too. But it does look like for some of you guys, you could be needing to take action on a certain situation. Or it's like once this comes in, it's like you're able to move forward or take some type of action towards pretty much... Um, I also saw him here like creating your own opportunities as well. It's like when you're in that energy of like um, being like very creative, that means you like real high vibrational. So it's like you're drawing in more abundance or attracting more abundance. So it's like new opportunities being presented to you because it's like you're in this energy. It's like you're not out here chasing nothing. It's like you just letting it flow to you or you, you could be just doing your own thing too. So yeah, I'm going to just end the read here, y'all, because it's already too long. 
But yeah, that was the read. 